Gear Patrol calls their new dive watch the best sub $500 dive watch. Full stop. Men's Health rated them as the most stylish solar watch in the game. Who are we talking about? It's movement. They're leveling up your gift giving with the sleekest watches you can buy and the biggest deals of the season. Shop 30 to 50% off Movement's innovative California clean watches, jewelry, and accessories with fast free shipping and returns now at MVMT.com. That's MVMT.com. Stop recording. This is Conversate with us with Chris Donovan and Evelyn Rivas. Well, welcome back to another episode of Conversate with us. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. It has, what has it been, three and a half years? Weeks. Oh, weeks. Just weeks, weeks, but it felt like years. That it did. The last few weeks have felt like years. Thank you for being patient with us if you're back with us. Yes, thank you for <laughs> listening all together. It just that. I know. <laughs> you know what's funny is I actually got one message saying, are you going to do a new podcast? <laughs> and Which makes me think, oh my God, someone does listen. <laughs> there is one person there. I got hit up once or twice, but after people went online and saw what was going on, they kind of were like, oh, oh we're not going to, we're not going to ask like anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a really freaking crazy couple of weeks. So we'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into in right a now, second. Right now, in a minute. Yeah. yeah Cause it, so we can at least fill you in on what is going on in our lives and why we haven't, ha we did not schedule to miss like it wasn't vacation weeks oh no it was like literally oh this is just not gonna happen this week oh and then again oh it's also not gonna happen yep. this week is it so yeah, yeah it was like that one thing after another and then, crazy. and then a, a, a number of things popping up in the middle of those uh didn't help no so, so we're gonna talk about that and believe me it is worth <laughs> listening to because oh yeah sit on the edge of that seat because i promise it's gonna be an exciting ride when we get to filling you in on what happened <laughs> all right so let's talk about food though because that's what we're supposed to yes i mean that's generally what we start this whole dang thing off with um so the most recent thing i would like to talk about with food mm -hmm. happened yesterday yeah it did. We finally got back to Disneyland. Yay! It was so fun. We were so lucky. Like, we got on all, a lot of the rides and stuff, but... Um, well, and what was even more lucky about it was the fact that everything we were reading days leading up to us going, because they reopened the state, mm -hmm. was negative about Disneyland. It was not... I mean, not... That, that the park's they just not assumed fun, they wouldn't have enough people employed. Yeah, yeah, everything was long lines. People are disgruntled. Da -da -da -da. And I was like, oh my gosh, is it going to be that bad? Nope. Nope. Not a, not a, not even a little bit. No, it bad. was nice. Later on in the awesome. afternoon, when the when the park hopper people people were allowed to come over, it kind of got a little busier, but it wasn't bad at all. No, I enjoyed myself. The kids say it was one of their best trips. Totally, that's how I feel about it too. We got on every ride we wanted to get on. Yeah, like we walked long, on them. Longest wait was forty minutes, and that was Space Mountain. And we could have walked on that if we had decided to start with that ride in exactly. the morning, but we went the opposite side of the park first and. It was great. It was. But let's talk about Disney food. Yes. Now, we went to the Tomorrowland Terrace to have lunch, which is Buzz Lightyear's area. Um, I don't know what they called that. <laughs> it's it was, Tomorrowland. No, I know, but it was like the, 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 the food Galactic. area. It's Galactic the Grill. Galactic Grill. Okay. So we went there. I only know because I took a boomerang there. Oh, did you? <laughs> and I labeled <laughs> it Galactic yourself? Grill. <laughs> You're hilarious. You might be able to see. No, it won't be on my story anymore. <laughs> but yeah, we went there and we had a, just a simple lunch. They had yeah. a cheeseburger, fries. I had a chicken sandwich and fries. That was pretty darn good. Oh, nice. Cassie got um, oranges with her cheeseburger. Yeah, or, I had a cheeseburger too. Mm -hmm. um, and I have to be honest, uh, I've never had a cheeseburger at Disneyland. Yeah, you actually were surprised it was good. It was so good. <laughs> I don't know why I was surprised it was good. I guess I should know that everything I've had at Disney's been pretty damn good. Yeah. Um, But yeah, like I... I've never had a just a burger at Disneyland, and it was choice. It was a burger. It was a good burger. And this is the true test any parent will tell you right now. If your kid finishes every last bite of their meal, they liked that meal. And Aiden is generally like not, he's not, I guess he's a little bit more picky mm -hmm. of our, all our specific, kids. Very specific. Very specific. Doesn't generally want to, oh, it's a burger. Like, I, I'll, if it's made a specific way, I'll yep. eat it. If not, yeah, good. that's it. No, he, that kid ate the whole freaking thing. Had like a, had a, some sort of dressing or secret sauce on it too. He goes, is this mayo? I go, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, we, like, it's definitely not mayo. Uh, but it was really, really good. I was impressed. You also got chocolate covered pretzels. I did. 
And what else did we get throughout the day? Okay, so uh, pickles. Yeah, we yeah and, we all ate your pickle. N- numerous pickles. So even uh, so, Julene's boyfriend John, mm-hmm. our oldest uh, boyfriend's John, there was there with us. Our that oldest daughter's boyfriend. Our oldest John. <laughs> yes, yeah, I think they know what you're saying. So yeah, I'm tired. you can continue. Our oldest daughter's boyfriend John was there with <laughs> us, and uh, that was the first thing he asked for. Like this in the day, we were like. Do you guys want anything? And he's like, actually, I just want a pickle. So we got him a pickle. Okay. And mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? That was a good idea. Cause it's like, you know, the pickles there are big, right? Yeah. And they're so, nice and juicy. Oh, they're just the best. So then later, because he got that pickle, I was like craving pickle the rest of the day. I was like, I really want a pickle. Mm-hmm. Like, I really want one. So later on in the day, we're over in the Jungle Cruise area, which is Jungle Cruise is currently closed. They're they're revamping it right now. For the movie. Yeah. And there are, I will not lie, because of COVID and all that, not every fruit stand, mm-hmm. uh, none of the fruit stands, in fact, are open at all right now. None. Not one. I asked. And yeah. they said that's the mm-hmm. one thing that they did not bring back, which means they don't have any of that fresh fruit stuff that mm-hmm. you would generally get unless you go to a, one of the restaurants and then order it there. Yeah, I'm thinking they're probably going to stray more toward like dried apples like they do over in California. Vineyard right, stuff. and right now we couldn't even get the dried apples in Disneyland yesterday, no. which was actually a whole thing because <laughs> Cassie, very specific too. <laughs> Cassie wanted those dry apples we get every time we go to Disneyland and they have Mickey on the package and they're really good. They're super yummy. Couldn't find them anywhere. Asked everybody, and they're like, "No, they would be at the fruit carts, and we don't have them right now." So I'm like, "Okay," but there is that place that's across from Indiana Jones and that little in, the what kebab is it place. in the Adventureland area? The kebab place. Yeah, the kebab place exactly, mm-hmm. which smelled freaking amazing, and I almost wish we got one kebab. I was about to order a couple, one of each. Actually, we should have just done that. <laughs> I, I don't know. know why we didn't. Oh, but we we went and got on Indiana Jones. We oh, did well, right we away. So we were in line long enough. We, I know. Why did what were we thinking? Because then what ended up happening was I got my pickle there. They, they, <laughs> they had regular pickles and spicy pickles. Yep. I got a regular one, mm-hmm. and I said, "Does anyone else want one?" And everyone goes, "No, we're fine." And what happened in the line at Indiana Jones? Everyone ate your pickle. <laughs> <laughs> like when I say everyone, I mean. Aiden, Cassie, and myself, yeah. the only other three people with you. <laughs> yeah. Like, at that point, Julian and John had gone, like, ventured off on their own for mm-hmm. a little while. And we're like, dang it, dude. Are you kidding me? I want another pickle. By the end of the pickle, she's like, okay, just take the bites, guys. Just, you guys are staring at me like I'm just, freaking, like, you haven't eaten in months. Yeah, eat the damn pickle. <laughs> I should have got two of those dang things. But they were so good. So then I, I was talking to John later in the day because he, I was like, man, I had to get a pickle because I saw your pickle earlier. And, uh, and that did not sound right. But you know what I'm talking about. And he started laughing. And he goes, <laughs> he goes, I had three. <laughs> oh, he got two more? <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Jeez. <laughs> Up. I, I wonder like, he couldn't afford the ears that had the graduation. Uh, oh, I it. know. He's like he spent all his money on pickles. He goes, the pickles are Dis- a better investment. Disney pickles, <laughs> totally. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that was about it. I think we got some waters, iced teas. You know, nothing special. Oh no, no, just the because- normal. Well, I gotta say. It was like a regular kind of Disney day, but we were going throughout the day, and I'm like, okay, what kind of like sweets do we want? Because let's just walk around. There's nothing like eating a frozen oh yes lemonade one of those frozen uh what are they called the the they're, lemon they're frozen sh- like lemonade sherbet type what yeah. are they called though frozen lemonades frozen lemonades yeah that's it yeah it's a, they have strawberry or, or lemonade flavored <laughs> <laughs> yeah know, or lemonade Lemon? <laughs> strawberry lemonade um but yeah we no, always get one Aiden loves it yeah it's his favorite so we, it's we cracked up because we went to one of the carts we found that uh cassie wanted one of those cookie and those Nestle Toll House cookie sandwiches, ice cream yeah. sandwiches. Mm-hmm. And the funniest part is, is that they were so frozen. They were frozen solid. Like yeah, like liquid nitrogen. Rock. Yeah, solid. <laughs> like so that. the kids couldn't even eat them right away. So we had to put them in our backpack, get on, on a ride. ride. <laughs> And then get out of the ride and see if they were, you know, if we could like. They were, they were soft enough <laughs> at that point around the edges. And it's funny because like Aiden's sitting there hitting his and I'm like, give me your, give it to me. And he goes, what? And I, so I started digging around the edge. Yeah. And I go, I'm just trying to make it easier for you. And he goes, okay. And he goes in to take a scoop and a big old chunk comes off. And he goes, look, dad, you made it easier. It's awesome. <laughs> I go, don't put it on your spoon. You're going to lose it. It was long. It was a fiasco. It was a rock, though, <laughs> like originally. So I can't blame him because, I mean, literally it was like a drum. It was, yeah. Was he dropped it. it. I think it dented the floor. <laughs> Pretty sure it left a hole in Toontown's floor. <laughs> I think so, too. But yeah, that, was, that was most of the food there. Yeah, no. Uh, what else did we have? So I had the frozen, and then I had the chocolate-covered uh, pe- 
pretzels. pretzels. And that was when we were on our adventure, just me and Cassie by ourselves, because we were looking. We went to Pooh's Corner because she really wanted to find some ears that were poo themed. Poo ears. Yeah, poo ears. And she found some great ones that she's still wearing. She will not take them off. She has one right now. And um, so we went there, and that was where we were trying to find the other apples we couldn't find. So I was like, well, pretzels will do. Pretzels so. worked. I really like the way that they do stuff in, um, in Star Wars, too, though. When we went to Star Wars, they sell those really cool, like, grenade-looking bottles oh, of yes. drinks. The, uh, the, oh, it's right here. Hold what on. are they? They're, like, galactic it's something the, or other. Man, why can't I? Uh, thermal, thermal detonator. Thermal detonator. It, uh, it is in Return of the Jedi when Leia is dressed up in that outfit, and she goes there to try to get uh, Han Solo off the wall. She has a thermal detonator, and they made the bottles of the soda look like that, and they've got has some foreign language on it and stuff, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, those are neat. You wouldn't let me throw it away. No, you're not allowed because people sell them online for like 20 bucks. You're kidding me. No. That's that's a real thing? Yes. Okay, even with nothing in it? Yes. No. Yes. Why don't more infant formula companies use organic, grass-fed whole milk instead of skim? Why don't more infant formula companies use the latest breast milk science? Why don't more infant formula companies run their own clinical trials? Why don't more infant formula companies use more of the proteins found in breast milk? Why don't more infant formula companies have their own factories instead of outsourcing their manufacturing? We wondered the same thing. So we made Byheart a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. That's crazy. I don't know if it's 20 bucks, but I know they sell these online because <laughs> okay. uh, a lot of people don't get to go to Disneyland and a lot of people are Star Wars fans, so they... They, they just that. want whatever little memorabilia well, they can get from it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, no, it's it's really neat. We didn't do the milk this time. Though. We didn't do the milk. The kids were gonna do it, but then we kind of were like, eh, let's just keep walking around and stuff. But it was good. Last time we got it, it was tasty. Mm -hmm. and that was goat milk or whatever they called it. It's really no, weird it's tasting. like tauntaun milk or something. Yeah, crap. It's whatever, what is it? It's whatever Luke was uh, <laughs> uh, milking out of that thing sitting oh, there. Oh yeah, that was nasty. Whatever made him Luke warm. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I don't have the sun effect fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be lost now. Um, but what else? What, over the last three weeks, we also had something else go on where we got a bunch of food. Yeah. This one's more of a bummer, but the food was really good. So that was sweet. I just that was some sweet. more salsa right now. Yeah. So over the last few weeks, we, uh, we had to lay my grandfather to rest. Uh, he passed away on May 20th. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, um, my family came back. My parents came back into town. Everybody, it got crazy again around mm -hmm. here, clearly, because no podcast for a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my parents really, and my husband, my amazing husband, and I, uh, you, I'm talking about you. Oh, me, me, um, okay, okay, sorry. I was hoping you were talking about me. <laughs> and my brother and um, and his fiance had to do a lot of the planning. Yeah, we did, we did most of the groundwork. Yeah, we did a lot of the stuff. So uh, you made the slideshow, and I, you know, we were very, very, very involved. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, last week when he we had his services, which was last Tuesday, uh, we what my mother did, which was really really a cool idea. She went to the local VFW mm -hmm. where they remembered her because we had had another services there. Um, gosh, Nick, what what was it like a year remember. ago? Probably a year ago for my uncle, mm -hmm. and they were so gracious were awesome. at this place. They were incredible um and it was in marina valley mm -hmm. the vfw there on name? alessandro leah leah yes I was leah, say, she's incredible she was awesome yeah she took care took care of us made sure we were all uh happy they they suggested uh the uh i don't want to say yeah they suggested the taco guy for us to yes use. so basically that was what i was getting to yeah, yeah. so they recommended uh, either we were going to go through taco station again because i was like mm -hmm. okay well we knew it was really good at our graduation party like I could call. I'm sure they'll, you know, we could get a family discount or whatever because yep. they're just so great with us. But the lady was like, look, let, use my guy. They'll set it up. You don't want to have to worry about anything. You know, it's yep. your services. We're all going to be dressed up. The whole thing. For the record, it was going to be the hottest day of the summer so far. Oh, it was. <laughs> and so we're like, okay, this is a good move. The food was incredible. It was. It was, it was really, really so good. It was so good. And it was uh, chicken and carne mm -hmm. and then rice and beans and it was like street tacos and uh, Rice it, and beans, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, what else? Throw, salsa. All of the fixins. Yeah, everything you put on it. And it was just, it was simple and just yummy. I don't, I don't know what it was. He marinated the steak a oh, certain yeah, the, way the, or something? The, the, it was just extra tasty. Oh, it was. And we we had overcompensated because we thought we were going to have, a, you know, however many more people. Yeah. 
uh, turned out it, to be the perfect number because we still had leftovers. We gave uh, away leftovers. We did. And, of course, we brought home leftovers. And they were gone within a day. Yeah. <laughs> they were actually that night. Later on that afternoon, we made some uh, quesadillas and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, tacos again. I yes. heated them up on the grill. And, uh, His which, new girl, which we'll get to. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> Jeez, there's been so much. I know. Okay, and then and then uh, yeah, and then the next day I I made another burrito. I think later in the day or something. So it didn't last long. I think all we have is a little bit of rice left. So I just gotta say, you know, funerals are hard, but the food is good. But the food was really good, <laughs> and we really appreciate that guy for helping us out. No, really nice. they were they were incredible. Really, like big shout out to the VFW. Of course, they're you know those they're about the community, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, but, but she said we're allowed back whenever. I know she did say that, like, and looked you in the eye. I really think she had a thing for you. Okay, I'm I'm convinced. Three dollar Michelobaltos. So <laughs> I. I know. <laughs> We're like, we'll go back. We'll be back. Do you have the Sunday ticket? <laughs> <laughs> no, they were they were great. A great spot to have any any event. And it's so weird, like going through this whole thing and like all of the silver linings that come along with it, like seeing all of our family at yeah. that event and everyone being able, we hadn't seen a lot of people in a long time, especially Due some of those COVID family members. And on just on top of just life. Yeah. yeah. So it was yeah. nice because not uh, to go alongside the really good company of, you know, that comes together when you lose someone mm -hmm. was we had really great food to yeah. go along with it. And really so I, I always think about, isn't that funny? Like, Everyone probably has leftover funeral food, huh? Yeah. I mean, isn't yeah. that a thing? It's totally a thing. Yeah, probably is. I mean, or or when you degree, lose someone, like a bring platter of cookies. It, or, you people know, bring they food bring to food. you. Yeah, yeah. You it's always like have a residual food. It's a food. Things. It's like a food thing. It's something about the comfort that food brings. Yeah. And it, it fills did. Your belly it really and did. Once you and go, to go sleep. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about cooking, and I think that's half of it. Yeah, is when you when you're mourning someone, you don't want to eat. You don't want to think about it, and then you're not going to make your own food because you're just not in that mood. Mm -hmm. And it does help when other people care enough. So I love yeah. that. It was a nice. It was uh, you know it's been a weird couple few weeks. weeks, and we'll get into that here, and uh, we'll start with our right now, right now. Okay. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Okay. Do you want to start? You have to start. I have to start. Yes. My right now, right now is, what was my right now, right now? Disneyland. Oh, okay. We just got talked about it already. Okay. okay. My right now, right now is Disneyland. I mean, we, I know we just talked about it, but it was really cool to just kind of be back. Be yeah. back at Disneyland. We, and we did, we did a, I mean, I, I did, I guess, uh, Eden and I did a few different things uh, where I got to build a lightsaber. That was for my Father's Day present, which yes. I was super stoked about. Um and then we were lucky enough to get on Rise of Resistance again. Yeah, and that was really cool doing it again, living through it again, and knowing like what to look out for this time. The first time we didn't, COVID happened like what a week a after, week literally a week after we went to Disneyland. They closed. They closed the Disneyland. Yeah, they closed Disneyland like a week after we went. That was nuts. Yeah, it was gnarly. And we had gone for work, so that was even what was crazier. It was like that we were going because they wanted us to do like a media thing mm -hmm. and all of this stuff, and then it like closed. closed. It was crazy, and so getting to go back again was really, really, really special. We only had one park, one you know, one day, one, one day. park. Didn't go to. The whole new thing at the Avengers campus, which I would have loved to have done. We'll have to do at some other point when we yes, can. At we will. California Adventure. But it was fun. And it really was one of the best times I've ever had at Disneyland. I want to say they can't be at 100% capacity. Right no, now. no way. Um, they, they still Everyone the, was saying they were, but I, I don't I, think they are. I, I didn't feel it at all. I, we've been there a lot of times. Yeah. Capacity, that's not, that wasn't even close. No, it like, was. shoulder to shoulder before we've been there. Remember when we, remember when that one time we went and Pirates of the Caribbean was so packed, the line went all the way to the Haunted Mansion and back a few times? Yes. That was crazy. I think, I think we left. I think you were yeah. broadcasting that day and you finally got off, off the air and we were, did a couple of rides and we were going to go over there or something and then. We're like, this uh, is just a little too I, much. And that's shoulder to shoulder. That's like, there's no room at that point. So they weren't even close to that. No, not even. So And uh, no mask. People weren't wearing masks. Some people were if they wanted to. Oh, yeah, to. yeah, for sure. There yeah. were people wearing masks. but it, one or two. But it felt very normal. Yeah. It was like our first real thing where people were, it felt normal. I can tell you standing in line. Yeah, it was, it was back to normal. 
Yeah, right? Yeah, it was back to <laughs> Personal space, no. There's none of There's that. There's none of that. There's not standing in line at Disneyland. There's no, no personal space. <laughs> That's but, for sure. Yeah, that was a... Uh, it was a fun day. It was. It was really good. It turned out great. All the kids say it was probably one of their best times. We probably won't be able to go for a while, honestly. Right, with of course. everything we got coming up with your brother's wedding, uh, we've got uh, some ca- our camping trip that we, we go on three July. three weddings. <sighs> three weddings in the next six months. Jesus. All of a sudden. Well, that's the COVID boom. Is that what that is? It's because everybody would have gotten married prior, but it's, well, it's everything they, happened. They just had the kid f- three months ago after, you know, the, the COVID boom. Not one of these couples <laughs> has a kid. Stop it. <laughs> Don't start doing that. All right. All right. I'll get into my What's right your now. right now, right now? The big old hole in my forehead. Oh, God. Let's get into your right now, right now again. <laughs> okay, so. He has a big hole in his forehead. <laughs> I used to have a hole in my forehead. You don't anymore. No, it got stitched up by some uh, very nice nurse in the ER. He was very nice. Um, <laughs> seven stitches, closed it up. Um, I pulled them out about 10 days later. Yes. Actually a little bit longer than that, actually closer to, to 12. But I, yeah, I just, um, I fell. I wish Let's there was a whole bunch better story. I wish it was like, nah, I was saving this baby from a burning car <laughs> because I was holding the mom in one arm and reaching for the baby in the other. And I accidentally got hit in the face by an engine mount, but I still saved the baby and their dog. <laughs> and everybody's good. And everything's good. But it's just this one little scar. No, that's not the story. No. I did skydive without a parachute, though. No, didn't do that either. <laughs> you didn't do that, didn't that either. Didn't do that either. No. I just fell. So you want to do this? Yes, okay. I do. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so it's about a week ago. Well, two weeks ago now. Um, and breast milk science. It's a thing. And it's our thing. We're Byheart. We're an infant formula company on a mission to get a lot closer to the most super, super food on the planet. Breast milk. Our patented protein blend has more of the important and most abundant proteins found in breast milk. We're the first and only US made formula to use organic, grass fed whole milk, not skim. We make our formula in our own factories in Iowa, Oregon, and Pennsylvania, using a small batch manufacturing process that works to preserve the integrity of our ingredients. We ran the largest clinical trial by a new infant formula company in 25 years and clinically proved benefits like easier digestion, less gas, and softer poops versus a leading infant formula. We were the first infant formula company to earn the Clean Label Project Purity Award. And while we've put a lot into Byheart, there's a long list of things you won't see on our ingredient list. Like no corn syrup, no maltodextrin, no GMO ingredients, no soy, no palm oil. Byheart, a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. Lucky Land Casino, asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Wow, we go to weeks. bed. It's God. I, I think I went to bed at 930. We had gone into our room to go relax, Okay. Because this is like, it, think, keep in mind, this is the height of now really planning everything that's about to happen for my grandfather's funeral mm-hmm. services. Um, my parents are in town now. Julian and I are leaving in two days to two go days. to Washington for her to accept a scholarship, which right. is pretty dope. Right. Yeah. All this really, like, a lot of stuff is happening in a week, right? Mm-hmm. So it's Tuesday night, because I remember it was a Tuesday night because I missed work Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I, I go to lay down. You're done for the night, right? You're in the, our bedroom yeah, just, watching just watching TV. He does that. Playing my game, playing my video game. Yeah, whatever. And my parents were out with the kids, I think, watching a movie, and then everybody was going to bed. Mm-hmm. It was about 11.23. <laughs> just about? Do you want to know how I know that, that time? You probably looked over at the clock as yeah. soon as that So, happened. So, no, no, no. This is what, how it, what happened. We've been having trouble with our internet. Yes. And our internet uh, went down because, and the only reason I know that is because my phone alerted that the Wi-Fi was down, right? Mm-hmm. So that happens, okay? I hear a crash. What was it? It was you going face first into a wall. So well, it was it a wall? Kind of. Okay, so <laughs> I look over. <laughs> oh, God. I look over and I'm like, Chris, are you Okay. And he is on the floor between our bathroom door and our sliding glass door, which are very close. They're like in the corner. They're very close to each other. It's like an L shape. Like an L, yeah. And our sliding glass door is about open maybe 12 inches. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's like, yeah. 
And he turns and looks at me from the floor. I'm on the bed and is covering his nose. I'm like, oh, crap. No, he's not. He looks, you looked so dazed, like so dazed. I don't dazed. remember that until you said, oh, no, your forehead. Yeah, so I walk. See, I didn't. I knew you, you got knocked out, dude. You were, you, yeah, okay. So I walk over there, and I'm like, are you, okay, let me see. Hold on. Don't get up. Don't get up, because I was super nervous that you had a concussion. Yeah. And I look over, and you're covering your face. I could see some blood coming out of your, like, nose. Mm -hmm. That's what it looked like to me. So I'm like, okay, it's your nose. Don't get up. I'm going to go get toilet paper or, like, to paper towels, yeah. okay, so that you can cover yourself. Okay. You, that's all you're saying. Okay. You're not saying anything else, okay? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I look around you, okay, and I could see the things around you, Okay. Your glasses are on the floor, <laughs> which means you had them on when you got up. Yeah. So you're probably like half asleep walking to the bathroom or something. The I'm internet had, the, the bathroom. internet had gotten, no, you weren't leaving the bathroom. I know for a fact you weren't leaving the bathroom. Okay, 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 jeez. It doesn't make sense. You had your Xbox remote <laughs> in your hand. I was probably going to. You were going to turn everything, everything off. off. Yeah. I, I know for sure because the internet had gone down. So when I, when I got up, the TV was just a blue screen because the internet was down so there was no x the well, xbox was on off. or you probably turned I off the turned remote off. but but there was yes yeah. so okay so i was like okay something I, i'm putting all the pieces together but i still don't know exactly what happened right mm -hmm. i run over my our oldest gets up and goes and sees my parents and she she's like i don't know something happened my mom gets up did you i heard a crash like what happened i was mm -hmm. like chris fell it's okay just hold on so I grab all the, to the all of the paper towels. I run back to my bedroom and I look at you and I was like, okay, just turn. And you're like, I don't think it's my nose. And I was like, oh. And you look over at me and your head is gushing blood. It was horrible. It was a lot of blood. I it was a crime scene. All of a sudden there was blood everywhere. Yeah, even the nurse was I should like, have probably gave a warning me. about this podcast. Yeah, right. <laughs> All of a sudden it turned into a true crime confession. <laughs> no, it was a true crime anything. It was a stupid accident more than anything, but yeah, but but there was a lot of blood and I remember uh, what I remember is you saying your nose and I held my nose and I was like, I don't Well, you were holding your nose before I uh, probably hurt. <laughs> But well, I know why it hurts. But then, but I, but I don't think I was bleeding at that point. And then when I remember, I remember you seeing my nose, and I'm holding my nose, but the blood wasn't stopping, and I'm sitting there holding my nose, and my face is just getting covered in blood. Yeah. And you're like, oh shit, your forehead, and I'm like, yeah. And I put, I touch my forehead, and I pull my hand off. I'm like, that's it. That's where it's coming from. And I put my hand on my forehead, and I just pushed down, and that's when your dad came in with the gauze and all that stuff. Yeah. That everybody was like, okay, crap, you you need to hold on. So we got you up really slowly. I was so worried because. There was again so much blood. I was like, he's gonna pass out. A lot of blood. He's gonna pass out. There's way too much blood here. So yeah, it was crazy. It was straight up crazy. So long story short, uh, Leonard and uh, Evelyn took me to the hospital. Uh, they couldn't go in, so I had to go in by myself. Uh, yes. When I got done, about two and a half hours later, I came out. She met me, and we left. Mm -hmm. I got a discount for for paying that day, by the way, which is really odd. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so stupid. Um, but but then. Uh, Ruth and Julene, thank you so much. They were here cleaning the floor as if they were Cinderella's 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 <laughs> crime cleaners. <laughs> they were just Cinderella. <laughs> but yeah, and they they Julene was like, there was so much. It took us so hard. We had to scrub, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. Thank I know you so much. I they really it was completely clean when we got back home. I get home. I've got seven stitches in my forehead. Both of the little kids are were still up at that point. Yeah, they could they came. Everybody out and was saw so me. worried about you. I laid down, went to sleep, woke up. I didn't. Took a couple naps throughout the day. I didn't sleep at all. Um, got some medicine, didn't need a lot. <laughs> I mean, did the uh, did the uh, uh, antibiotics, but not so much pain medicine. Yeah, you didn't. So that was nice that it wasn't super painful. Yeah. The biggest thing was it was annoying when it started like Healing. seven, ten days into it when I could feel the stitches being in the way. Yeah. So that's why I pulled them it out. It looks really good now. I mean, it really does. So it, thank God it was a pretty straight cut yep that was the one it's really good thing, thing. Said, yeah yeah you probably bled a lot but at least it's straight so i can sew it straight yeah <laughs> he goes and luckily it's not jagged you don't want to look like harry potter and really that's all we kept thinking was oh my god he's got a harry, harry potter that was the first joke that was the first joke but then here's the other thing so i know why your nose was messed up too and we you know you know now but 
when we were when I first saw your nose, mm-hmm. and I thought you, I thought you broke your nose at yeah. first. It was the first thing I thought because your nose was swollen like really fast. Then we realized you were wearing your glasses when you went and you hit the corner of the sliding glass door. Uh-huh. You hit your glasses, and they scraped up your face. They fell off because you broke your glasses. Remember, we broke that little inside mm-hmm. part of your you glasses. You fixed them. I'm wearing them right now. Thank yeah, you. you're welcome. You guys rock. And then I'd be dead if it wasn't for you right now. <laughs> oh my god, stop! Don't say that. This actually freaks me out. And um, and your nose, I it was like just swollen on the left side of it, so it seemed like it was mm-hmm. cracked. Yeah, like I scratched this side. Like I felt that there was a couple. Uh, um, I don't want to say scabs or whatever, but yeah, yeah but basically like small scrapes. scabs, scrapes, yeah. Yeah. like road rash almost. When you, so my, my dad and I, when we were walking you to the triage, right, at the ER, he and I are looking at each other, they're talking, they're like assessing you, whatever, and we take the bandage off of your head, yeah. and that was when we saw your nose, and we looked at each other, and I was like, oh, he broke his nose for sure. I really thought I you did. Thought, I never thought once Well, because I broke my you nose. knew, you probably didn't feel it like yeah. that. Yeah. Plus, I drink a lot of milk as a kid, so my calcium and my bones are amazing. Clearly. Plus, I drink a lot of milk now. Oh, yeah. That's why I got that big old stomach. Okay, sure. Or beer. (laughs) It just, your nose was just so swollen. I was like, oh, this poor guy. He broke his nose and punctured his face? What the hell? So I'm sitting there by myself, bleeding, underneath the gauze and and everything sitting there, filling out paperwork. I can't believe they had you do that. And that was the thing that kind of frustrated me. Usually, like, I they wanted did to- most of it. I signed, you know, a couple things, but, yeah. I wanted to go in with you, right? But they don't let you yet because COVID. Mm-mm. Still can't have a guest in there. Still can't. They said, look, if they put him in a room- Then you can go you, in. Then you can come in. I was like, okay. I go, look, if he's got a concussion, somebody needs to watch him. Like, I, you're, you know what I mean? And they're mm-hmm. like, don't worry, we will- but they just let you like sit somewhere, and so that freaked me out. I'm like, yeah, okay. Sitting next to this other lady, it was keeled over, holding her, holding herself because she was in so much pain. Oh my god! I know. I'm like, oh, I think she's probably more important than me. <laughs> and here you have blood gushing from your face. They did give me a CT scan, and then um, they gave me a little area. I got a bed, and then they stitched me up. I talked to the nurse a little bit, like the guy I was telling you about, and then I paid. Uh, and then they're like, yeah, you're gonna go home tonight. And I go, well, you know, what about my CT scan? And they're like, oh, I mean, it's normal or we wouldn't send you home. I'm like, oh, right. that's a good sign. I, I guess. read through all your paperwork, too, when you came home and I read it and it said you were fine. But yeah. I still don't think that I'm going to discredit the fact that I really think you had a concussion real quick, like a mild one. Wouldn't be the first I, time, probably. Oh, no, I'm sure. And it yeah. might not even show up. But it's just I saw your face when you hit your head and I there, there was nothing it, there. The best part about <laughs> you it. You were so out of it. <laughs> the, the best part about it is, the, in the, in the, okay, so no, I didn't, the, it was so early, like I can't even blame it on alcohol because I wasn't drinking that much or anything. It was, it was just a few beers. It was 11.30 at night. So yes, I wish I could yes. blame it on that. But No, I don't, no, you weren't drunk at all. No. It, but, it, there was that, but then it was like uh, also just the stress. We had like a lot going on. So that's another reason. It well, wasn't yeah, like, well, we, it was the middle of the I week. Was it wasn't like yeah. we were, it was like a Saturday night. Yeah, you know? it wasn't like we were partying or anything. We had, a, we, I was, we were leaving town and I was leaving town in less than, 48 hours. Right. Leaving town less than 48 hours, taking Julian up there, accepting the thing, coming right back down here, coming down for the funeral. Uh, what did we have immediately when we landed on Saturday? Your birthday. My birthday. Your that's birthday. Right. <laughs> your birthday. I, I was and like, Father's dude, Day. Give yourself a nice scar for your birthday. I totally gave forgot it was my a birthday. Nice scar for the scholarship photos. Gave yourself a nice scar for Father's Day. I wore a hat for those photos. Thank you very much. Yeah, you couldn't see it. But no, yeah, I forgot it was my birthday. It was your birthday. My birthday, Father's Day, the funeral, uh, Julene flying to Washington with her. There's more in there. I totally keep forgetting. No, I went to Mexico and it was like, I mean, there was like a ton of stuff that happened because I ended up going the next day after after the services here in the States. My dad and I and my mom traveled with my my Mm step-grandmother over to um, TJ so we could go and... Final resting place. Final right? resting place. Leave his so ashes so in pretty. this beautiful mausoleum. It was, it's a crypt, but it was just gorgeous. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It was really beautiful. But we were doing a turnaround trip, so we did that. Like t- went the day after the services, that. and now I'm leaving you. And I, I'm not even gonna lie. Like you hitting your head, two days later flying to Washington. I am freaking out. Like now I have to worry about my freaking husband. And if I'm gonna be really, really honest with you. There was a small piece of me, and we've talked about this very openly on th- this show, but was really worried you were going to go back into, like, a depression because yeah. you were so, that night you were so upset that this had happened, and you were like, 
I'm so sorry. This was so stupid. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, it's fine. Like it was an accident. It's fine. I don't want you freaking out. My mom, you know, you came to me separately was like, is he okay? Is like, nobody's he okay. Like yeah. everybody was so worried that, you know what I mean? Like we, so we're, we care about you yeah, so yeah. much. You guys know all, everything about it. So yeah, yeah. No, I honestly, um, I got a little down, you know, I thought about it and stuff. And when I saw my parents and you know, they saw it when everybody saw it, that's the thing is that it happened so soon that I flew up to Washington and nobody knew about it yet. So when I got off the plane and I'm seeing everybody, they're like, what why the do you have hell? a big old when The first question was, uh, it's a hundred degrees out. Why are you wearing a beanie? Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, you want to see? And then I'd pull it off and I'd have my, my, my bandage right there. And they're like, what did you do? Mm -hmm. And then I had to explain it 75 times. I know, I know. And that wasn't going to make anything better. No, but after that, it, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't do that anymore. So I just got to make fun of it. I'm going to be Harry Potter or <laughs> Nick Fury for Halloween. No, you handled it. You handled it fine. It was just hard. It was just a lot going on and you coming back in your birthday, but I tried to yeah, make it better. Yeah, my birthday. I got, you got back and I tried <laughs> to make it better. I got a Blackstone grill. <laughs> and it's funny because nobody knew about it at the time. And this is I, hilarious because yeah, somebody had to bring this to my attention. This is a really funny story because the I, fact that I did not post any, I didn't tell anybody about your head injury except for my coworkers that had to know because I missed work the next and day. I didn't post anything until my birthday evening. Right. I was waiting. But- the day before my birthday, <laughs> I get back from the airport and uh, I'm like staring outside and I, or not staring outside, standing in the kitchen, talking to everyone, you know, having a beer, chilling and then look outside and I see this grill that looks semi-familiar. <laughs> and I'm like, what is that? What did I get? And they're like, no, no. The, the kids all got together and then uh, I went outside and Evelyn had this big old Blackstone flat grill sitting there that- it's griddle so gorgeous <laughs> it's really pretty i cooked on it ever i've cooked on it every day since except until we were, like, unless we were gone but um i opened it up and then there was the uh, i got a lego set which is the boba fett helmet and then uh you know some other stuff yeah uh it was it was it was a group effort from my parents as well and then here's this here's the kicker <laughs> now evelyn, evelyn and i've been talking since last january no last november december that the grill is time to go it's time to get a new grill it's time to upgrade Let's get something when they're on sale when the season comes around. Yeah. But let's get a flat grill because that's what we want. And yeah. that's what I like cooking on. And I, I just didn't. We just never ended up yeah. buying it because I think, oh, we had to do the Hawaii thing. Yes. And, then, and then all this other stuff. So, um, but I had ordered a, <laughs> a Benihana type set. A hibachi set you. already, and it was in the garage, just sitting there. So I go, and I didn't know that. No, she didn't know. <laughs> I ordered something else. I ordered something else in tandem with that, which she can't have until her birthday in September. Oh but my, it's just sitting in the garage. How right crazy now. is that? Thanks I'm, a lot. I, it's just sitting there. I got to go find it now. Oh you, yeah, you'll look right past it. You I won't know. even know. <laughs> so I run into the garage. I grab the bag. I run out, and I and I bring out the spatulas, and I start doing. Do, 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 do. And I'm like, what the hell? Where is this coming from? He's like, I was really hoping I'd get one at some point. <laughs> I was like, I got the bottles of oil and water everything like a whole i which i'm glad i didn't buy you the set that, that i could have that was the blackstone version of it we'd have returned it I, totally, <laughs> I, 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 I had no idea you already had bought something on amazon or whatever okay so to get to the point of what i was saying is i started doing chris, chris what do i call it chris chris, chris, chris chris no 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 no, no. chris chris hana like benny hana benny hana chrissy hana I'll take Chrissy Hanna. Chrissy Hanna. Chrissy Hanna. I'm sitting there flipping the thing. I'm like, do, 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 flipping the thing. You know, and I'm just, filming him. So it's, it's on a, it's on Instagram. And nobody's seen my scar yet. Now no. there, it was just stitches at that point. It wasn't like I was wearing a bandage or anything. And so it wasn't it was, like I hit it, but I guess nobody really, really noticed it. that part because they were obviously focused on your mad skills. Of course. I could be the <laughs> best Chrissy Hanna in the world. But then, <laughs> then the comments came in. Did the spatula bite back? Yes. How did he cut the, himself? Was it from the, the skill? Well, because the next day, I know that you when. posted the picture of yourself uh -huh. with the big old scar and your stitches, and your I'm not gonna lie, your picture was not like a oh. happy looking picture. I know. You're like, this is 43. This is what my face looks like at 43. Like, I mean, it was do you like know a, where your kids are. Yeah, it was totally <laughs> one of those posts. Like, I, I mean, if I were somebody not your wife, I would have been like, is this guy okay? Maybe that's why I'm not getting any jobs. So I'll check it out my Facebook. <laughs> 
I was like, is this guy okay? Like, I thought he got past the depression. <laughs> like, what's, is he okay? So then everybody's is like. Is he on medication? Do we need to check in on him? Evelyn, did you hurt him? <laughs> that was the next thing. <laughs> what did you do, Evelyn, for his birthday? Did you cut him? What did he do on his birthday for you to cut him? Or punch him? Or, or did, hit him with a frying pan? Or did he really not do so great with those freaking uh, Yeah, did the spatulas. spatulas. And uh, uh, that was, that was kind of fun. But At the funeral the, the following week, that's what people were asking. Our cousins are up there and they're like, I thought you hit yourself with the Benihana spatula thing. And I didn't, God, I laughed so hard the first time somebody said that because it seemed like that. It like really they did. could have played really, right into yeah, that. Yeah, actually, yes, that, it's exactly that, what happened. It'd be a worse story, I think. <laughs> I think it'd be like, nah, I fell and cut my head open. I don't remember any of it. Oh my God, are you okay? Rather than, oh, nah, I was pretending I worked at Benny Hanna's and cut my forehead open with <laughs> I a spatula. I sliced myself. <laughs> I don't know which one would be. I see. I think the Benny Hanna thing's less. Like, it's, it's even more, I'm, I'm more of an idiot if that's the way. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> than the accidental than, fall. Than just falling and not remembering, but. Thank you for my Blackstone. Thank you for not leaving me when I cut my head open. <laughs> uh, I'm not going nowhere. Uh, and um, I'm done doing that stuff. I can I can handle a little blood. Or a lot of blood. Oh, yeah, no, there's a lot of a blood. Lot of blood. Oh, yeah. Your scar looks good, though, now. Like, we got to redo a, p- a picture for you. <gasps> I could be scar for Halloween. Could totally be scar. Wow. Uh, or we could extend it. We talked about this. We can cover your eye with an eye patch. Mm-hmm. And we can make it look like you got that cat scratch from, from Nick Fury. Nick- Nick Fury. But but what did he say? He keeps telling everybody, he never tells anyone how he got the scratch, right? Yeah, he and does, it was just not the cat. until Marvel, right? Not until Captain Marvel where yeah, they showed it. Where they show- <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm not going to. your story. I'm, I'm going to wait until ca- my Captain Marvel comes out. And you just walk out. around with Ray, our cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Dr. Claw from <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Gadget. <laughs> I'll get you, Inspector Gadget. That's not his voice. All right, we should get out of here. Um All right. Please go to thisisfunner.com. Check out all the other podcasts and stuff we do up there. Um, it, it's some good stuff. There's a podcast called Listen to This that uh, my buddy Eric Lucky does. It's about music and history, all with a theme. Season five comes out next month. Nice. So it'll be great. So check that out. There's four seasons up there now. And other than that, thank you for listening. Yeah, we appreciate your patience. <laughs> well, life yeah. happens. What do, we t- what do we label this one? Uh, funeral food. And <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Head injuries and cool scars. Is, <laughs> no. We'll figure it out. Oh, we never even got to get into that part of it. Maybe we'll have to do a continuation of this and talk about our next favorite scars. <laughs> I think that I don't think there'll be any lack of uh, <laughs> content and for this podcast in any near future. <laughs> it's also true. <laughs> it's like we live one week and we have lots to talk about. <laughs> yeah, we live three weeks. We can't even catch up ourselves. Yeah, we're we're not even done telling you the whole thing. Yeah. So no, it's all good. Thank you guys for your patience. We really do appreciate you. If you like this podcast, you know, let us know. Message us, text us, fill us in on what's going on in your lives. You- sh- don't send us pictures of scars, please. I mean, don't you, do that. Dude, totally do that. Okay, don't do that. I right. want scar Why pictures. Did I, say that? I want scar pictures. Then we could talk about it. We'll Something play scar so. tissue that I wish you. Oh, God, that too. <laughs> hey, say goodbye. All right, we'll catch you later. Conversate with us. Conversate with us. Thank you for listening to Conversate with us. Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.